Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Aquarius and the person Aquarius is connecting with or will be connecting with? Yep, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Wait a minute, it gets better, Aquarius. It gets better. You have expressed your love, Aquarius. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I don't know about that, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. How does it... How does Aquarius currently view this relationship? Whoa, Aquarius. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Okay. We've got the Eight of Swords, Gemini with the Seven of Wands and the King of Wands. Yeah, you're shutting this person out. Mm -hmm. You're shutting this person out for sure. Um... Whoever this is, though, this King of Wands, this could be you. It could be the person that you're connecting with. This person does have a lot of passion for you. I will say that, but you're just flat out shutting this person out. You're shutting this person out. Now, this person over here, I kind of feel like this king tends to send you um, mixed signals, right? They, they, they tend to send you mixed signals here. They cause you to overthink things. And it's getting to that point where, again, you're just shutting this person out because this person is not only making you feel very scattered, but they're also causing you to overthink things when it comes down to either pursuing this person or even giving this person a chance. Let's go back, let's go to this person over here. Let's see what they're working with. You're just shutting this person out. How does this person currently view this relationship? You got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo with the Three of Wands. Oh my gosh. I kind of feel like this person is really scared and I don't blame this poor person. I feel like this person is so scared to even approach you at this point. They're approaching. There's, there's a level of hesitation and I don't blame them because you're just like, I'm done with you. Like I'm shutting, I'm shutting you down. I'm shutting you out. Like I'm so tired of this. Like these mixed signals of yours. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. I just feel like you don't want to deal with this person. So this person, they're coming in. They're a little bit hesitant to approach you, um, but they're approaching you anyways. They're trying to stay optimistic here. They want to talk. They want to talk. They want balance in the situation, all right? So it's like they're coming in, right? They're coming in to talk. You got this emperor over here, so you could be dealing with an Aries, possibly a Pisces, maybe even a Taurus. They're coming in to really talk to you. Um, <clears throat> but they're hoping that they're going to get this, you know, um, equal give and take out of you, right? Where if they're opening up to you emotionally, if they're coming to you and talking to you, they expect that in return. That's what they're hoping for. That's what they're looking for as far as approaching you goes. This is what they have in mind. They think in their mind that if they were to approach you and talk to you and just be open with you, that you're going to be open with them in return. I don't know if that's going to happen though because you're really shutting this person out. How does Aquarius feel about this relationship? Okay. We have the Three of Cups here, Cancer with the Four of Wands, and then we have the Queen of Swords here. Okay. You're making me nervous, man. I gotta be honest. We have the uh, Two of Cups with the Five of Wands here. I kind of feel like you're trying your best to really work with this person and like reason with this person you're trying your best to understand this person and where they're they're coming from but there's just too much conflict here right when it comes down to this relationship and i feel like that's what shuts you off about this person here is that there's so much conflict here and there's a lack of understanding on top of that it's like you're okay here's the here's the weird thing right this is what this is where the mixed signals kind of come into play here right because 
you're feeling a little bit scattered, which we did discuss, right? That you're feeling very scattered because this person is sending you mixed signals here. And again, I kind of feel like it has everything to do with the way that they react. Uh, or no, not the way that they react, but the way that they act with you. It's causing you to kind of like lose yourself just a little bit, right? And it's causing you to overthink. Now I'm overthinking things. Because it's like this person shows you so many different versions of themselves. Like one minute, everything's cool right between you and this person here it's like the two of you come down to this understanding of okay this is what we're going to be doing this is what we're going to be working towards and then they just switch on you right they just switch up on you and now it's like i kind of feel like they switch up on you in this way where they start to kind of argue with you kind of like nitpick at certain things and it just creates conflict here but i kind of feel like what what actually ignites this within this person is the fact that they actually want this but they're showing you no i just want i just want us to be good like i just want us to be cool like i just want us to work together possibly build you know towards maybe later on a relationship later on down the line here right and that's the understanding that you have in your mind right we're we're friends now we're just dating and you know slowly but surely we're gonna work towards you know a foundation with each other right that's what we're gonna be doing okay cool i'm okay with that but then this person they do things that that throw you off right because it's like everything goes perfectly smooth between you and this person where the two of you have this understanding of all right we're gonna come together we're gonna work towards building a, a foundation with each other we're gonna get to know each other we're gonna do things the right way you're on board with it you have a clear understanding of how things are supposed to transpire between you and this person or where things are going between you and this person. You've accepted that. You're okay with that. But then they kind of like throw a freaking curveball in your direction here. And then they start nitpicking at you and fighting with you and arguing with you, right? And behind it, it's because in all actuality, this person just wants things to be official like yesterday, right? And it's throwing you off. Because in your mind, you're you're thinking, right, the way you're interpreting all of this, I thought that, like, you just wanted, like, us to work towards a relationship and get to know each other. Like, I thought that that was our understanding, and I thought that, like, we were in agreement with that. So, like, why are you doing this? Like, why are you nitpicking at me? Why are you fighting with me? Why are you acting this way? And it's because they actually want this. So they're basically Aquarius. In other words, they're telling you, like, I just want us to be friends. I just want us to get to know each other. I just want to take my time. You know, I just want things to be good. I want to do things the right way. I just want to slowly build towards a foundation with you. Like, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I would want, right? But then they're throwing you off because they're acting like, like this. You know what I mean? And the reason why they're acting like this is because they actually just want this. And it's like the fact that you've even agreed to begin with pisses this person off. Because it's like they want you to actually show them this. That you love them. That you care about them. That you, you, want, you want to be with them, right? But because you agreed to the terms that they set into place, they don't like that. I kind of feel like there's a lot of mind games being played here, man. Like, I'm starting to really get a headache. You get what I'm saying? Like, you you, you agree with what, what this person wants, right? They want to take things slow with you. They want to get to know you, you know. They want to take things slow, right? And you're just like, okay, I'm cool with that. You know, we can do that. And it's just like, oh, why did they agree to that? That's not what I wanted. That's not the reaction that I wanted. Like, and it's just like, huh? What are you talking about? Like... That's what, that's the agreement you set into place. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I get where they're coming from. They actually wanted you to say no. Like, I just want us to be together like right now. That's what they want. That's what they want you to say. But you're just like, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do what you said. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We got this, Aquarius. We could do this. We could do this. We could do this. We got this. Whoa, that, that threw me off. Okay. How does this person feel about this relationship with Aquarius? Yeah, I feel like this person just threw you off. And you're just like, you know what? I've heard enough. I'm going to do this. You're confusing me at this point. We got the five. Yeah, we got the five of swords, five of pentacles. And then we have the seven of pentacles. Physically, they're walking away from you and distancing themselves from you 
that's just so not fair though. You know what I mean? Like that's not fair because I feel like they are they're the ones who who put this in place and you're ju you just said, "Yeah, I'm down. I'll do that." You know what I mean? I'm okay with that. We could do that. We could be friends first and then, you know, see where this goes. Like I'm down. Like I'm good with that. I just don't think that it's fair because I do on some level I kind of feel like, yeah, there is mind games being played on this person's behalf. Right? And it's like they're walking away, but I don't think that this person's going anywhere. I'm not really that worried about it, you know, because they want you. They want this. They love you. They care about you. They want a commitment out of you. And it's just like that's what they want to see. That's what they want you to tell them. Not okay i'll go with it and it's just like because it it really does discourage this person but it's like it's so it's so wrong at the same time because it's like why would you put this in place if if you can if you if that's not what you want you know and that in its sense is very deceiving right because here you are poor thing queen of swords you're just like sure i'll do it okay i'm okay with it and then the moment that you say yes, it's the moment that this person finds it to be offensive. You know, it's like, they're just like, they don't want to hear that. But then why would you set it into place to begin with? They're not going anywhere. So they really do love you. They care about you. They're not going anywhere. They may be putting on this show that they're, that's it, I'm walking away. Fine. Whatever. I don't see them doing it though. What actions will for you take towards this person are moving forward? Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, this person really gave me a headache. I did not. They really threw me off for a second. No, they still are, and I'm getting a headache. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, let's see what's going on with this person. What actions will this person take towards Aquarius? I'm moving forward. Oh, I switched up the deck again. Anyways, it's fine. There goes the Seven of Pentacles again. I'm not going to put it that too, not, not too close over there. We have the High Priestess with the Four of Wands here. Like I said, not going anywhere. They're still there. Like physically, they may have decided that's it. I'm done. I'm done with you, Aquarius. I'm not, I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm not doing this. I'm walking away. Um, I don't know where they're going. You know, like, I don't know where. They could be going back home. You know what I mean? Um, especially if the two of you live together, like they could just be going back to their place. <laughs> but I feel like that's as far as they're going. You know, I don't see them really drifting off too far, which which is not a bad thing, right? But <sighs> this person, right? Even though they they do this to you, right? They throw you off at times. They tend to send you mixed signals here. They really, really, really do want to be in a relationship with you, like. Dude, they really want this. It's like they've already invested a lot into this relationship, right? They've already invested a whole lot, and they're following their intuition here um, as far as investing into this relationship goes. But this is what they want. They want to skip this. Even though they've set it into place, by the way, I feel like they set this into place. This let's be friends and let's see where this goes. They're the ones who, who put this into place, to put this into action here. Because they wanted to take things slow. Then, then fine, we'll take things slow, right? You agreed with that. You agreed to that. But again, it's not the response that they were looking for. How were you supposed to know? I don't know, right? And unless you're a psychic or something like that. But again, what they honestly want is, is this. A foundation with you. A relationship with you, right? And again, you're willing to show up. You're willing to be there. You know, you want this too. You, you're, you're okay with it. You're just like, sure, let, let's do it. Hopefully they don't change their mind on you again. Like, no, that was the wrong response. You were supposed to say no. Hopefully they don't do that. But I see you. I see you heading in this person's direction. I do. I really, really do. Um, things are going to start to clear up. <laughs> it's just, it's funny to me because it's like, you set it into place. You agreed. Wrong reaction. That's the wrong response. Eh. you know like and it's just like it's funny because it's like i think it's kind of cute a little bit just a little bit cute come on you gotta be honest it's a little cute but that was the wrong that was the wrong answer wrong answer aquarius wrong answer should have said no you should have said no but then again you didn't know 
you just went with it. Any advice for Aquarius in regards to the spread? That's so funny. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate along with past life relationship. You have known each other before along with romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like you're following your heart here, right? Your, your heart um, definitely wants to pursue this person in this relationship. I feel like you're very much so invested into this person. You want to give and they're ready to go. I just kind of feel like they set something into motion that they couldn't even stand by. So you gave them the wrong answer. And now they're walking away because you gave them the wrong answer. You shouldn't have gave them that answer. Sorry. Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. Um, and think twice. Think twice next time before you... before you take this person up on their offer as far as like because I feel like they were testing you to be quite honest and you failed you failed that test in this person's eyes because it made them feel like you, you don't you're not you, you don't really want this or you're not as invested as I am that's how they interpreted it anyways hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity and I will see you guys in your next reading bye